emphasize a lot of, in computing ethics with my students is reproducibility. And this is an area that I think my field is quite healthy in, um, and we need to be vigilant and keep it that way. And so I mean things from you know, making your results reproducible, open sourcing of data and code, experimental protocols that are very clear, um, writing that's very clear about everything that's been done. Um, all this is important for you know, ethical reasons and like growth and success of the community. It also happens to be very valuable for impact of the work that we're doing um, by being that transparent and clear and sharing and letting others adopt and build on what we've done. Um, and along these lines, of one of my favorite quotes from a colleague of mine was, uh, you know, if you, if you interrogate the data enough, it'll confess. And I love that image because that's not what we want, right? And so we want results that are true and good because they're true and good for the right reasons, um, not because we squeak them out. And I think this relates to the reproducibility aspect, at least in machine learning. You know, this is something you want to be careful of. And so it, as far as the question, you know, telling my students, I think, you know, when something seems too good to be true, we need to put just as much effort to make sure that that's not the case, right, as we would when it doesn't work well and we're trying to make it better. Mm -hmm.